Good morning, class. How was your weekend? That's good to hear. Are you now excited to learn new things today? Very well. But before that, let us first start with a prayer. May we have mixed to lead us to prayer. In the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Mix. Before I check your attendance, let us first have a warm-up. Let's all shake our hands. Shake your hands, class. Okay, are we now all warmed up? That's great. Now let me check your attendance. So if I call your name, you say the name of your favorite actor or actresses. So let's start with Alyssa. Becky, Claire, Chimon, Dave, Eric, Mix, and Y. I'm glad that we have a perfect attendance for today and I hope that you will keep this up class. So again, reminding you of our, cla of our class rules, when somebody is talking in front, all you have to do is to listen and keep quiet. And if you want to say something, ask something, just raise your hand. Do not answer or ask in chorus. Always pay respect to the idea of your classmates and actively participate in our class discussion. Am I making myself clear? Very good. So, before we start this interesting topic, let us first have an activity. So, this activity is called Two Truths and a Lie. Is this familiar to you, class? No. So, if that's the case, let me explain to you the mechanics. In this activity, sets of three statements will be given and all you have to do is to guess the two truths among the three statements. So to answer, you have to shout LAVA! But if your classmate cannot get the correct answer, you have the chance to steal and shout CAKE! So to answer, you shout LAVA! And to steal, you have to shout CAKE! LAVA CAKE! Is that clear? So the student that will get the correct answer for the three sets will be our winner. Are you now all excited? So if that's a yes, without further ado, let us now start this guessing game. So here's the first set of statements, class. Okay, Mix, what do you think is the correct answer? Is that your final answer? Alright, so the two truths in our first statements are letters A and B. So Mix, get the correct answer. Now you have two points. Okay, here is our second set class. Yes, Becky, what's your answer? Alright, Becky is correct. So letters A and B are the two truths in this set. So thank you, Becky. You have now two points. Now we are down to our last set of statements. So here is your last set of statements, class. Yes, Chimon, what's your answer? Are you sure about that? Well, you got it wrong, Chimon. Yes, Mix, what's the correct answer? Very good, so Mix got the correct answer. Alright, class, since Mix was able to get the correct answers for, for the first set and our third set, he is now our winner for this activity. Don't worry to those who wasn't able to participate, we still have an activity later. So congratulations everyone and thank you for participating. Alright, at this moment, let us now answer these guided questions. So first, what do you think is the reason for the existence of Lava Flow? Yes, why? You're raising your hand. Alright, that's correct. So that is why in our first set, letter B is the correct answer or the true statement. Okay, next, what happens when a lava flow occurs? Alright, Eric, what could be the possible effects of lava flow? How dangerous it is to the human being and other living things? Thank you, Eric. So yes, Eric has a point. Though in set 2, it was stated there that lava flow is the least dangerous volcanic eruption processes, it can still leave significant danger to our surroundings. Okay, for the last question, why is it important to have an emergency plan at home? Okay, Dave, what can you say? Yes, thank you, Dave. So, later on, we will tackle about that. As I mentioned earlier, we still have another activity. Are you now excited? How about you, Alyssa? That's good to hear. So, the activity is called Assemble Me. 
all you have to do is to fix the jumbled words with the help of the pictures that I will be presenting. So same mechanics with the previous activity. But in this activity, those that have participated in this in the earlier activity will not be included so that others can join. Is that okay? Alright, so here's the first jumbled words. Yes, Alyssa, what's the answer? Very good, thank you, Alyssa. Let's now proceed. Okay, we have Y to answer. So what's the answer, Y? Okay, pyroclastic flow is the correct answer. Thank you, Y. So for the third jumbled word, Jimon, you now have the chance to answer. Okay, what's the answer? Will that be a molten rock? Yes, Jimon is right. It is a molten rock. So class, we still have three words left. So here's the next jumbled word. Go on, Eric. What's the correct word for this photo? That's a good guess, Eric, because your answer is correct. Okay, so for the next jumbled word. Yes, Claire. All right, the answer is correct. It's good that you're learning while browsing online. So let's finish this activity with this last jumbled word. Okay, Chimon, what do you think is the correct word? Very good, so the correct word is emergency plan. All right, that's it for the Assemble Me activity. I hope that you all remember those terms as you will encounter them in our discussion today. So fasten your seatbelts class as we're about to start this interesting discussion. Let us first read our lesson objectives for today. Okay, thank you for that class. Class, have you been into a place where there are active volcanoes? No, but have you seen footages of volcanic eruptions? Okay, so upon seeing those videos, what have you observed? Yes, thank you, Becky. So for today's um, discussion, we will be talking about lava flows. So can anyone here share his or her ideas about lava flows? Thank you, Alyssa. So our lava flow came from an erupted magma of a volcano. And it is very hot because its temperature is about 1,000 to 2,000 degrees Celsius. So imagine how hot it is and how damaging it is to our environment. Yes, Chimon, you're raising your hand. That's a good question. Well, there are factors affecting the speed of our lava flow. One of these factors is the viscosity of our lava flow. Okay, yes, Mix, you want to share? Thank you. So, that is why if our lava flow has a high viscosity, it flows slowly. But if our lava flow has a low viscosity, it can flow easily. Yes, Eric, you want to share? Let's hear it from Eric. Thank you for that information, Eric. Now that we've talked about the viscosity of our lava flow, let us now talk about the different types of lava flows that has something to do with how viscous it is. So today, I will be showing you a one-minute video clip that will deal about the different types of our lava flow. So please pay attention, class.
Now from the video, what type of lava flow is more viscous? Yes, why? That's right. Aa is Aa lava flow is thicker, which makes it more viscous and moves very slow. How about the less viscous type of lava flow? Yes, Alyssa. That's right. Also, pahoho is the less viscous type of lava flow and it moves easily. So, class, have you wondered why there are lava underwater? Yes, Dave. That's right. We have volcanoes underwater. And these lava flows are called underwater lava flows. Why? You're raising your hand. That's a wonderful realization. So, pahoho and aa lava flow are located on land, while your pillow lava flow is located underwater. Becky, you're raising your hand. That's a good question. So, we will also talk about the difference between pyroclastic flow and your lava flow. So what differs between these two lies on its speed? Why do you think so? Okay, so for you to have a glimpse of the difference between these two, I will also show a short video clip of a pyroclastic flow that is happening in Guatemala. So please pay attention, class. <laughs> Venite, vete esta. Now, what can you tell about the short clip? Yes, Chimon? Okay, thank you. So, your pyroclastic flow is faster than your lava flow and it is gaseous compared to lava flow, which is made of fluid. Okay, what else? Yes, Claire? Exactly. Pyroclastic flow is more dangerous than your lava flow. Aside from it is fast, it is it also covers the air and land, so it is very damaging. So that's how we differentiate our pyroclastic flow to our lava flow. In terms of the appearance, pyroclastic flow is gaseous and your lava flow is made of fluid. And in terms of speed, your pyroclastic flow is faster than your lava flow. You see class? Even if lava flow is considered to be the least hazardous volcanic eruption processes, it can still leave great impact to every living thing, right? Okay, so how do you think this kind of phenomenon affects us or the other organisms? Yes, Claire. Exactly. It can kill us, the animals, destroy their habitats, and even destroy the source of living of some people. And it's very sad that is why it is necessary for us to have an emergency plan because it will help us to avoid those kinds of instances right okay yes we also need to be proactive and keep ourselves updated it seems that you all have um, absorbed what we have learned today and you are really participating and that makes me so happy are you enjoying this lesson class great so before we end this lesson let us first have a recap again what is a lava flow yes mix very good and how about the viscosity of the lava how does it affect the the rate of the lava flow yes claire very good and how do we differentiate pyroclastic flow to the lava flow Thank you, very good. And why is it um, important for us to have an emergency plan? Okay, I'm glad that you all remembered what we have discussed for today. So before we end this class, let us first have a five item quiz for 10 minutes. And later on, I will discuss to you the assignments or assignment rather that will be submitted tomorrow. Is that clear? Okay, so here is your quiz. 
All right, class, pass all your papers. So for your assignment, using any different kinds of designing platform, create an infographics showing the importance of having an emergency plan at home or in your community and submit it tomorrow. Is the direction clear? Great. So here is the rubric for you to be graded accordingly. So that's it for today class. I hope you learned something meaningful. See you tomorrow. Bye!